Hello and welcome to another of my short tutorials on some of the features within Photoshop. Um, today we're going to be looking at something that is relatively simple, um, can improve your images, uh, depending on the type of image, can improve it quite substantially and just make it that little bit more professional looking. Um, it primarily uses Camera Raw uh, and to access it we're going to initially start in Bridge which is what I've got open on screen at the moment. If you're not familiar with Bridge um, don't worry um, you uh, can learn about that in another tutorial um, but if you uh, need to know how to find it um, you can find it in the uh, programs options if you go into um, the Creative Cloud uh, icon, you'll find that Bridge is actually listed there for you to actually open. Uh, you can also obviously add it to your desktop or whatever. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, just have a, a, a look at the type of image we're going to deal with. Uh, I'll just put this into film strip mode. Um, this is a raw image taken a good few years ago. Uh, of the inside of an apartment. It's nothing special. Um, you can see the geometry leaves a little bit to be desired. Um, there's sort of like horizontal keystoning in a, in a way. Uh, the table's out of whack, uh, the ceiling's slanting the opposite way. Uh, it's generally, it's okay, but it's, it could be a lot better in terms of its geometry. Um, so what I want to do is show you a really simple way of um, cleaning that up, making it look a bit better um, by using um, uh, Camera Raw, uh, the Camera Raw option. So how do you get into Camera Raw? Well, there's a couple of very easy ways depending on the type of file. If you've got a, a raw file, this is an old CR2 file, uh, you simply double click on your raw file and it will take it straight into Camera Raw. Alternatively, you can right click an opening camera raw that way yeah now this works as well if you use as we've got next to it this is a JPEG version uh, and you can see this one slightly different image um, I can right click and open that in camera raw as well which means the f some of the features most of the features within the camera raw option are available to you now by camera raw I mean the actual program that's a, a sub program as uh, an add-on if you like within the creative suite um, and you, it allows you to actually control uh, elements of the image so we're going to just double click this image and you'll see it takes me straight into camera raw itself now there have been some adjustments to this uh, and if i go into the uh, basic settings you'll see that I've increased the exposure slightly because this was quite a dark room. Um, the highlights have dropped down so that you could actually see what's outside in the, the bright outdoors. Um, and there's a few other settings that sort of have been played around with. Uh, but we're not worried about that at this stage. What we're worried about is the geometry um, showing up on screen. And you can see it's pretty um, odd looking at the present time. So we're going to use a couple of the um, tabs down here. Uh, we're going to look at optics and we're going to look at geometry. Let's start with optics first. Um, if I open that up, um, you can see that you've got a, a couple of settings here at the top. There's a profile tab and there's a manual tab. Okay, so we're going to go into profile, um, which usually works quite well. Um, and this allows us to use um, the details that are captured by your camera in terms of what your which, sorry which lens you are using and the actual specific characteristics of that lens. So this was a, a wide angle 16 millimeter lens uh, and it comes with a bit of distortion uh, as you can imagine. Uh, and if I look here or choose here to to tick user profile corrections you will see that it automatically finds the actual lens that was in use uh, you can actually go and find just about any lens you can think of you can go through a whole range of different lenses um, 
if you want to do it manually and select the one specific to your but in this case it automatically finds the one that I've used uh, I could change it as I say but I'm quite happy uh, with it um, selecting it itself and you probably missed it but as I click on it I'll take it off again what it's doing is it's correcting for the actual distortions put in place by that lens um, and I click it again and you can just see it switch in and out and get some of the barrel distortion especially across that uh, point where the ceiling meets the far wall you can see it light levels it up quite a lot it also takes out some of the vignetting that's uh, automatic so to leave, or automatically placed into the image um, by that lens um, so yeah quite an improvement already but we've still got these uh, areas that are uh, uh, out of line in terms of horizontal or vertical so this is where geometry comes in uh, geometry um, allows us to correct the verticals and there's a, a range of different options uh, in terms of sort of like automatic settings that were currently disabled disable upright it says um, but you can have an automatically applied and it will look for um, horizontal surfaces and uh, vertical points um, and try and correct the image and if I use that we'll see it doesn't do too bad a job it's still not exactly how I would like it there's a slight difference down at the bottom in terms of that table uh, and it can be affected by um, the number of things that are in the room and it will just get a little bit off kilter with it um, so I'm not going to bother with it this time not an auto I'm going to work with it and the the following ones are either to look for horizontal correction vertical this one's a bit of both um, but it's still going to give us an automatic response so what I'm going to use is the uh, the manual setting I suppose the customized version we can set what we want and if I click on there uh, you'll see it's put it back to the original image uh, and we've now got a, a cross cursor and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click at the point where the ceiling meets the far wall just there hold the uh, mouse button down and drag it and you can see I'm now pulling out a line and I can then line that up with the horizontal um, ceiling let go and I have now got a reference point for the um, software to follow it knows that that is a horizontal point uh, and for this lower point I'm going to use the table which was actually square on you wouldn't believe it and I'm going to do exactly the same click drag across it to the other side make it line up let go and there we go we've now got two points that are horizontal and it will make everything in between that point that it should be horizontal it will make them horizontal as well okay but it still looks a little bit out in terms of the verticals so we can do the same you can choose a point in the corner you can just make out the, the line there and I can bring that back into there and do the same over on this side and it's there and there you go we have now lined up all the verticals and the horizontals um, so we've squared up the room um, and while the initial image was considerably out of uh, <laughs> shape shall we say it's now looking um, as we'd really want to see it um, and makes it just that a bit more professional so that's it it's as simple as that you can then carry on doing whatever you're doing with it take it into Photoshop save it as it is whatever uh, it's a simple process uh, and you can use it on anything that you want to um, line up if you like the verticals or the horizontals or both hope that made sense I hope you enjoyed it many thanks bye bye